James Wyatt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Technology brings huge benefits, but it's also exploited by terrorists. So, is my right honourable friend confident that this updated strategy will ensure that technology companies do far more to prevent their services being used by those who wish us harm and to cooperate with our security and law enforcement services, particularly given the approach that some have taken on encryption and child abuse imagery? Um, Secretary. Well, he's spoken about an issue that is very close to my heart uh, in terms of the uh, um, online uh, child sexual exploitation. Uh, that is something that uh, is uh, rising at an exponential and horrifying pace. Uh, about 32 million uh, instances of online sexual, child sexual abuse were recorded by the Global uh, Recording Centre last year alone. Uh, in this country, uh, in the UK, we arrest uh, 800 individuals a month involved in this heinous crime, and we safeguard about 1,200 children a month. It is horrifying. That's why we are taking steps to work constructively with the tech companies. But in terms of contest, I refer him to the extensive sections on page 21 onwards or, and other parts which talk about the technological aspect, how it's emerging, and our actions and our response. Notably, uh, our world-leading counter-terrorism operations centre, newly established to bring together the right data, technology and expertise to investigate and disrupt these types of threats.